Uh, shifting gears uh, out of that now, uh, we are joined for the rest of this hour and some of the next hour. He's here in town putting on an event tonight and tomorrow night. And uh, later, we'll be able to give you the address uh, of that on air and tell people uh, about where that is going to be tonight uh, here in Austin, Texas. Dr. Joel Wallach is no stranger to this show. You've heard him uh, on the radio. You've seen him via Skype. The first time I've met him in person, been listening to his material for about 16 years. And uh, you saw, well, you saw Aaron Dykes lose 98 pounds on stuff that's not even sold as weight loss beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst Plus. Things like that, Osteo FX, the uh, special proprietary EFAs that Dr. Wallach developed, the hundreds of products available at InfoWars uh, website, InfoWarsHealth.com or InfoWarsTeam.com. If you want to sign up and be a distributor and get discounts and free shipping, it's InfoWarsTeam.com or just to see the full catalog, InfoWarsHealth.com. But I'm not going to go into a big pitch for the discounted longevity products that are InfoWarsHealth.com today. I want to talk about D Dr. Wallach. Uh, here on air with him before we get into why are we the number one obese nation in the world 30% is diabetics right now going to 50% in the next 10 years that's official numbers doctors kill or injure 15 million Americans a year we're going to go through all these points with him but I first wanted to get him to talk about himself uh, and, and, and talk about, again, recapping how you grew up, being a veterinarian, then a doctor, what you discover, what you did for the government, and then all the times you've sued uh, the Food and Drug Administration in one. So many of the landmark cases that have even allowed any supplementation, you were there even before you had longevity fighting for. So you're quite a tiger because it's a blueprint for victory. So uh, we we're going to break it about four or five minutes, Dr. Wallach. Uh, tell, us, tell us about yourself. First of all, Alex, thank you so much for your hospitality. I really appreciate being here with you. Um, but my background is a little bit different. Uh, I uh, grew up on a farm in Missouri, West, West St. Louis County, a uh, small Angus farm, and um, went to ag school at the University of Missouri, and my major was in animal husbandry and nutrition, uh, went to veterinary school, and got into veterinary school halfway through ag school, so I was a graduate student uh, after I graduated uh, ag school, wrote the first paper on a mass die-off in America from pollution, got that published, and that began to direct the uh, rest of uh, my career. Um, graduated veterinary school, went to Africa for two years, Marlon Perkins, was the White Rhino Conservation Project, caught 200 of them, brought them back. Uh, so if you see a white rhino in a wild animal park or a zoo, see the one that I caught her offspring. And while I was in Africa, Marlon got a um, grant from the National Institutes of Health to study pollution in zoo animals and people who lived in close proximity to the zoos. It was my job as a pathologist, and I'd already become uh, a published pathologist, to do autopsies on the zoo animals and people who lived in close proximity to the zoo and find out what part pollution played in disease. And to make a long story short, after 12 years, I had done 20,000 autopsies, some 17,500 on over 454 species of zoo animals and 3,000 humans. And the 1,200-page book that came out of that um, is in the Smithsonian Institute as a national treasure. And the bottom line of that 12-year study, Alex, was uh, a surprise because we were looking for pollution, but what it said was, Every animal and every human being who dies of natural causes dies of a nutritional deficiency disease. And that was a powerhouse. And um, uh, the last project I did for the uh, that program, I was at the um, Brookfield Zoo in the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago, and then I went to the Yerkes Primate Center in Atlanta where I found the first case of uh, non-human cystic fibrosis and found out what caused it, and they fired me because they found out what caused cystic fibrosis because it was different than their theory. Their theory was it's genetic. This is back in 1978. And again, you can be predisposed genetically that if you have these deficiencies, it triggers worse, correct? It's, but then now they're just saying, no, everything's genetic. They're now saying inner-city kids need to be locked up or put on drugs because they have bad genetics. Just a blanket, no studies, no proof, you're just scum. But that's liberal. <laughs> well, we can, we can fix those kids. I can take them if they've never spoken in 11 years and six weeks' time they're speaking. I don't care if they're violent and crazy and can't uh, sit still 30 seconds. And they got to get off the red dye number five and corn syrup and actually not eat white bread all day? Well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And they have to take the uh, Alex pack on top of that. You're an extremist. I, that's what I've been told. The kids are acting up because they're evil, not because they're eating Snickers all day and bouncing off the walls. Well, they're actually deficient in nutrients, and then you take a lot of carbohydrates and sugars, which aggravates that. I, I disagree. They should, eat nothing but, but they should eat nothing but candy bars all day and McDonald's. <laughs> you are a conspiracy theorist. McDonald's has everything you need in it, and it's the reason we're so healthy. I'm joking.
Uh, Texas taxpayers finance Formula One auto races as schools dismiss teachers. There's Bloomberg. There's another one. Texas billionaires set bet on Austin F1 race backed by the state. I mean, that, that's what I'm talking about. Why I'm getting so angry. I'm I'm really sick of it. Uh, going back to Dr. Walt, this is a short segment, long segment coming up. Briefly, well, first off, if people are watching you at PrisonPlanet.tv, uh, you know, I've seen you in a lot of speeches and things, and I tell you, you look like you're about 55. Here in person, i got to say, because I'm looking right at him, and we can put a camera on him, uh, people say I look a lot older you know, than I do for my age. I mean, I'm telling you, buddy, you look maximum 55, 60 years old. And again, on the camera, you look a little older, maybe 60. In person, you look, I mean, you could pass for somebody who was 50 years old. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, and I mean, I'm again, I'm looking at this, uh, and, and you have discovered that it's the essential 90 for life. Amazing. But but briefly, and we're going to get into that coming up and some of the things that this can, you know, really help people, whether from your research, a reverse. And, and we've seen it with countless folks, Ted Anderson's knee, Ted Anderson's dad with Alzheimer's. I mean, when I go do events now, people just flood up saying, it's incredible. I was in a wheelchair. I was, and, and, and the issue is the medical establishment knows all this stuff, but doesn't want people to know it. Um, but but I'm, I'm already taking the whole segment up here. Talk about your battles with the uh, FDA and your victories. Well, <clears throat> during that 12-year uh, study I did for the NIH um, that came out with that book, what it found was that uh, we could prevent birth defects like uh, neurotube defects by supplementing with folic acid. But you couldn't say that. You can only say... By eating foods rich in folic acid, you could prevent the neurotube defects. So I had to sue them in federal court and it prevailed. Uh, I also was able to see that you could um, uh, prevent uh, the coronary thrombosis, thrombotic stroke, pulmonary embolism by supplementing with omega-3 essential fatty acids before I sued them in federal court. You couldn't say that. You can only say... And I looked this up yeah. decades ago. You did all this and said this. Now it's mainline science. Yes. Sorry. I mean, you're a trailblazer. Well, yes, you can say that. And, of course, I didn't do that to make money off it because it was generic, so everybody gets to use the information, so it was really to save America. Well, I mean, here's the example of vitamin E. They say that's the most powerful, uh, you know, thing for... Yeah. Well, also for women to get pregnant, they don't tell you that. Well, for um, uh, when you have somebody who's infertile, and uh, you can certainly, with the Alex pack, I mean, you can tell people honestly that the Alex pack will get more women pregnant than Solomon. I, I got to say, um, well, I'm not going to get into any stories here, but I, that's the feedback we've been getting is 45, 50-year-old women are getting pregnant. Yes. So yeah. look out, folks. <laughs> yeah, well, I've had the women who are in their 60s going through menopause, and I warn them, be careful because you get pregnant here, and certainly they've gotten pregnant healthy babies. Explain that to people. Well, it takes nutrition for things to work. And when you don't have nutrition, it's just like uh, pulling the plug on a lamp and expecting it to turn on. And you put the plug back in, turn on the light, it comes on. Well, same thing with cycling, ovulation, uh, making sperm. If you take um, something like um, cholesterol-lowering drugs, statin drugs, you get on a cholesterol-restricted diet, you can't make testosterone, so there's nobody home anymore. Okay, so... Uh, nothing works without nutrition. I was about to say, since I've been on this about a year, and, and I've still got weight to go, folks. I was really big, but I've lost upwards of 40 pounds. Um, you look great. Well, well, thank you. Well, I'm really, my, my head's just giant and round, but I get to, <laughs> I ought to do a thing where I take the shirt off. It really is, is, is amazing what's happened. But I've noticed my muscles have gotten bigger without doing weights. I've lost fat, but I've also gotten a lot more aggressive. Mm -hmm. And I do want to say, uh, you know, that my testosterone's gone up. Uh, yeah, you don't, you don't need any of those creams. No, <laughs> uh, but I guess it just does that. Yes, well, it's the raw material to make a testosterone. A guy your size should be eating four to six eggs a day. I try to get in four, six, eight eggs a day. I have four eggs for breakfast with a steak and all my supplements. Uh, you know, we're done in the evening. We go to one of these places that serve breakfasts all day, you know, 24 hours. I have four poached eggs and a steak and the supplements. So I do that twice a day. And they bought you guys sandwiches, but I noticed you took the, took the wheat off and just ate the turkey. Yes, I don't eat uh, wheat because of gluten. And that helps keep the weight off, but also it um, improves the absorption of nutrients through your intestines. Uh, even if you don't think you're gluten intolerant, uh, as many as 80% of Americans are gluten intolerant right now, Alex. And whether it's due to the GMO stuff in the grains that's uh, made this happen, uh, 50 years ago, maybe 5% of Americans were gluten intolerant. Now, in some communities, it's as high as 80%. Oh, there's all these new allergies every day. Yes. What's behind the allergies? We're going to come back from break, but just give us an idea. Okay, restricting salt, you can't make stomach acid, you can't make proteins break down into amino acids. You're going to be allergic to anything with protein in it if you don't have salt. You must salt your food. 
Incredible. Uh, absolutely incredible. Dr. Joel Wallach is our guest, and we're going to come back, give you his bio, and then just run through a laundry list of things they don't want you to know. This information could literally save your life, and I'm so proud to be affiliated with Longevity and be selling it and promoting it at InfoWarsHealth.com. Dr. Joel Wallach is our guest, and we're going to have him into the next hour, and uh, we'll open the we'll open the phones up for everybody. And uh, we've got so many things we want to cover. Um, I'm actually trying to find a spoon here. I've got my Pollen Burst Plus uh, that I actually take uh, in the in the afternoon now, rather than rather than coffee. And I found that sometimes coffee gives me that speed freak uh, feeling, and then. Um, I just get a headache. I do not have that problem with Pollen Burst Plus. And of course, my face is also on the product because uh, you know I told them I wanted to endorse Pollen Burst. And they said, well, listen, a couple of months, we've actually got one with berry flavored current added antioxidants coming out. Do you want to endorse that one? So I was the first person to get them you know, in little bags, looked like it was drugs or something, didn't even have the packaging on it. And I said, yeah, I like this even more than the regular Pollen Burst that's citrus flavored. This is uh, berry flavored. It's like fruit punch. You know, like a kid. I love it. And it's got the bee pollen in it. It's got the bee vitamins. It's got a bunch of other stuff. And it's got the, the caffeine from uh, green tea. And it doesn't even have that much caffeine in it. But it, uh, I just can't take energy drinks. This one I love. And I normally take it at about 1.30. So I'm sitting here. Dr. Joel Wallach's here. And it's product placement all the way, baby. But this is what I drink in here every day. I have to hide it from the crew. They they are all signed up for their own, but it literally disappears. There's an area in the cupboard that says Alex's stuff, and it's pilfered. There's thieves. They're not thieves in a bad way, but I guess we're all like little monkeys or something. I'm kind of that way, too. Sometimes I'm in the refrigerator, see something I want at night, and I go, oh, I'll find who the person is later and pay them back, and I just I steal it, too. I guess we're all guilty of some of that. I'm like a little monkey going in the refrigerator. But uh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Pollen Burst Plus and uh, coffee in the morning, because I love the way it smells and it's a ritual. My, my wife has, has just gone to Pollen Burst, period. Uh, and, you know, Rebound's good as well, but her favorite is Pollen Burst. It's my favorite. Plus, it's a, a sponsor and endorses us, but I endorse them. It's all available at InfoWarsHealth.com. And when you go to InfoWarsHealth.com, you can sign up for auto ship uh, and then get free shipping. Uh, you can also sign up uh, and become a distributor and uh, get discounts there as well. And my whole family is now involved in this promoting it. My dad's a dentist. And my dad, about a year and a half ago when I first started promoting this, he's like, oh, yeah, I know vitamins are good. Yeah, yeah. Then he saw the effects on family. He saw the effects on my mother, who's a triathlete, uh, who couldn't. I mean, she actually got higher speeds than she had 10 years ago. She actually was unable to lose this weight, even though she'd go out and brutally work out, you know, run 10 miles, lost weight. And my mother's ready to endorse it. I just haven't gotten over there to do it yet. Again, I say I'm not going to do an infomercial. We're here to talk about news. I just start doing it. Dr. Joel Wallach's here. I'll do the whole next hour to even let him talk. The point is InfoWarsHealth.com. Uh, let me give you a little bit more information here. You can uh, call a toll-free number, 877-551-1301. If you'd like to call and talk to the InfoWars phone team, people that sign up at InfoWarsTeam.com, if they become you know, distributors and become successful and we vet them and stuff, we actually have, hire people from the team. Uh, to actually sit there and take the calls and work for us. So that is Info Warriors there that in the last few years signed up with us. 877 551 1301. You never know who will answer. Sometimes it's, it's uh, you know, doctors and pharmacists. I mean, there's a lot of great people. Sometimes my dad answers. So 877 551 1301. team.com be part of the team and get discounts or InfoWarsHealth.com. And coming up tonight, uh, they're going to have event information. We emailed this out to everybody that's uh, signed up at InfoWorksTeam.com. But uh, here it is, event information, Monday, November 19th and Tuesday, November 20th, 6.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Promised Land Church Gymnasium, 1504 East 51st Street. Austin, Texas, 78723. And you need to get there early, folks. They've had to do two events because of the uh, amount of folks that are coming. And obviously, he is going to have to go and not be here on Thanksgiving. So uh, be sure and uh, check that out. Promised Land Church Gymnasium, 1504 East 51st Street, Austin, Texas, 78723. Or if you have any questions, 877-551-1301. Uh, okay. Yeah, my mic does sound a little bit low. Are you guys hearing that? So I just heard you fiddle with it, and I sounded loud. Genesis, do I sound good up there where you're at? Sound perfect. Okay, fantastic. We're just in there. 
playing with the old knobs. That's what I like to do. I've actually gone there before and just ah, started hitting all the buttons. Actually, that's true. People think I'm joking. Uh, anyways, uh, going back to Dr. Wallach, I'm going to give you the floor now, sir. I've been doing my, my pitch here because I believe it. I only promote things I believe in. Uh, but you, I said, what do you want to talk about during the break? I've got all these points I want to ask. Um, but you said, let's talk about Obamacare. So tell us about uh, you know the same government. I mean, people have the FDA certify aspartame, all these poisons. And, and people say, well, it's okay, my product has aspartame. The FDA says it's okay. So now the death panels, all of it. What's your take on Obamacare? Well, there's nothing in Obamacare that helps the patient. That's, a, that's an overriding statement. Uh, there's nothing that says we'll only pay you for this treatment because this is the one that cures somebody or this is the one that works. Uh, there's none of that. Um, the whole th deal with Obamacare is finding ways to raise money to pay doctors more. That's all Obamacare. And let them not give you treatments that work because the insurance companies wrote it. That's correct. I mean, they're saying no more prior. We're not going to cover pre-existing. Above 65, go get a cane if you want eye surgery. They actually say this. Mm. It's like, oh, it's liberal good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's all right. But you're exactly right. Um, and basically, doctors now for the last six months is speeding up. They're actually putting up signs we no longer accept Medicare patients because uh, the Medicare payments from Obamacare is going to drop anywhere from 30 to 50 percent, depending on where you are uh, in your age. The older you are, the less they're going to. Wow, that sounds good. Less money. That's that's a free deal from the government. Exactly. What idiots <laughs> supported that? Huh? Yeah. And so um, the doctors are actually putting up um, signs that say we no longer accept Medicare patients. And there was a cover article in Newsweek magazine. I think it was um, August of 2011, and it said that there was a big cover article. It showed a guy laying on a gurney, and five surgeons are going to stick him with a knife. Or the, and um, it showed seven doctors approaching him uh, in his hospital gown, and he's doing this defensive position. You know, like, no, no. And basically, it's because he was the only one in the hospital with money. Everybody else is a Medicare patient. And they were all fighting each other and playing hockey and che body checking. Each My other. dad's friend won the lawsuit because he went in for two stints. They put 12 in him. And the other doctors told him it basically was going to kill him. And he won the suit against the guy. And the guy got kicked out. But the point is, these guys are pirates. Well, yeah, they're pirates. And I call them pre-grave robbers. Uh, the cost of um, uh, hospice for Medicare has gone up 70%. Big headline news a couple of months ago. 70% has gone up, and that's because when somebody comes in with, uh, say, colon cancer, they're gone to the brain, they're in a coma, they got maybe a week to live with IVs, they email all their buddies, and they say, come on in, this uh, gal here has got you know, four-stage colon cancer, it's in her brain, but she's got $300,000 between her private insurance and Medicare left. They come in, they do a double mastectomy, double hip replacement, double knee replacement, they do a hysterectomy, take her thyroid gland out, do cataract surgeries. They give her the Darth Vader treatment. Exactly. Then they pull the plug, call the family, say, hey. Granny Daisy took a turn for the worst, and uh, she. Didn't and the way they sell it is, while we've got her under, we're going to fix the hips, the eyes, everything. They know full well she's dead in the w three I mean, weeks, yeah. but it doesn't matter. They're going to black up her. Yeah, they don't want exactly. They don't want that money going to the grave with her. They believe it's their money, and they're going to get it from her. Uh, and that's why the cost of uh, Medicare hospice has gone up seventy percent. Huge, huge. Uh, um, headlines. That's why I use in my presentation because people say that, that can't be right. I actually, have one pharmacist. Uh, who said, uh, Wallach, you got to be exaggerating because I oversee the pharmacies of over 200 hospices. I'm going to double check on that. He called me two weeks later, Alex, literally a grown man crying. He says, Doc, is this worse than even you said? I know some very wealthy people here in town, and um, the mother got bitten by a rattlesnake mm -hmm. in the backyard. We have those here. Mm -hmm. And they took her, and the bill was something like three hundred and something thousand dollars for the antivenom and a two-day stay in the hospital. And she was fine. She just went to the hospital, and they—I mean, just in a bed. That I mean, this country, and they had insurance too. It's—it's it's just totally criminal. Well, that's why it was three hundred thousand dollars because they had insurance. Insurance is the thing that's uh, broken the back of America because medical doctors have learned how to game the insurance policy. Uh, for instance, Alex. Um, we know how to cure, this is not me, this is medical school's done the research, we've known for 50 years how to cure rheumatoid arthritis in two weeks. It's actually an infection with a bug called mycoplasma. You give an antibiotic called um, um, minocycline, like a little bait fish, minocycline. In two weeks time, rheumatoid arthritis is gone. The doctor only makes $300, the pharmacy makes a thousand bucks for the antibiotics. 
if they treat you for 25 years and make $750,000. That's like Lyme's, too. They know the cures for that. Well, of course. Now, Lyme's is just uh, its a cousin to syphilis. You can cure syphilis in a week with penicillin. You can cure Lyme's in a week with tetracyclines. So why do they treat you for 12, 15, 20 years? Well, because there's no law saying they have to cure you when there's a cure available. And so they always opt for treating you over long periods of time rather than curing you. And so this is the difference between them and us. Uh, we actually take the things that are published in medical journals that say this bug can be killed with this antibiotic or this, this cartilage can be regrown doing this. We can uh, make you an ex-diabetic by giving you these things. But listen, you know a year and a half ago, I've been promoting this two years. I knew it was good products, but I barely promoted it because I, I hardly ever even plug my sponsors. I'm so busy. My main focus isn't making money, though I need to to fund the operation. But Ted Anderson's dad d d didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. And Ted allows me to tell this story. It's very sad. And... You know, great guy, whole nine yards. He got him on Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Osteo FX, and Essential Fatty Acids, and in a few months knew who he was, could go fishing. His dad was back. The rot holes in his skin healed. Mm -hmm. He went to the doctor to test the blood. They said, you got vitamin K. You're not allowed green vegetables. What are you doing? Oh, we're on this stuff. Oh, no way. This has got vitamins and minerals in it because we got you on Coumadin. And within a few months, his dad didn't know who he was again. And And, and it's a priesthood. It's like... And I don't want to get into, well, Ted has allowed me to say it. His mother, God bless her soul, said, listen, I'm in charge, and this is what we're going to do what the doctor says. Hmm. I mean, that's, you know, <laughs> that's incredible. Well, this happens all the time, especially with people who are a little older, people over age 60, uh, because they've grown up with doctors being the demigods, right? And whatever the doctor says they're going to do, and they say, well, that's interesting, but, uh, you know, I've got, I got my diabetes under control. I got my high blood pressure under control. So we help people of that age who want help, Alex, but also what we want to do is get kids going uh, before they're conceived. We've got to talk to young girls before they're old enough to have their own families, um, get them taking these nutrients so they'll never have a baby born with Down syndrome or cerebral palsy or cleft palate or muscular dystrophy, cystic fibrosis. We can prevent all that. We've done it in animals. I just use those same principles in humans at work. So I've been doing it for 35 years. I publish it, and I'm still outside of jail, so... I can't be saying something wrong for 35 years. And um, uh, doctors will not do this. It took a 1,000 years to change the concept of spontaneous generation before von Leeuwenhoek, the microscope guy, and Pasteur, the bacteria guy. Discovered microbes. Exactly. But, and ex explain spontaneous generation. I actually had somebody work for me one time. I go, there's always flies in the office. He was, he, he was leaving the bathroom window open. <laughs> and he said, no, the flies are coming out of the trash can. And I said, no, they're not spontaneously generating. The, the Greeks, you know, they thought yeah. maggots, you know, just came out of nowhere out of meat. Exactly. And that because they didn't know about uh, genetics and they didn't know about um, uh, eggs and they didn't know about flies laying eggs and things like that. And so that was a, a thing that went on for 2,000 years. Spontaneous generation was the theory of the land when it came to flies and maggots appearing. Um, they thought little fish just appeared in streams. Exactly. Yeah. They didn't know about the egg thing. And so um, it took von Leeuwenhoek, uh, uh, eyeglass maker um, from Switzerland, uh, I guess he was Dutch, he was from Holland, and uh, he uh, came up, put two eyeglass uh, lenses together in a tube, and it magnified things so you could actually see sperm moving. It freaked them out. They'd never seen that before. And uh, you could see little... It, it, was like, it was like discovering a whole new universe. Exactly. And then he, and now they're discovering little things inside little things, little things inside little things, little... So and exactly. But they don't want to tell you what microplasm is. We're just going to let you die over a long period of time. Well, here's one on that one. There's another one. You've heard of uh, Chrysler Jacobs disease, mad cow disease in people? Yeah. Well, actually, it's uh, prions do not cause disease. Um, they've taken prions from mad cows, ground them up, put them in the brains of a thousand cows, normal cows, haven't transmitted it. Yeah, I've seen those studies. Yeah, they haven't transmitted it. They've tried, but they haven't transmitted it. Same way with taking out of a human brain with Chrysler Jacobs disease, put it into uh, monkeys and chimpanzees. They have not transmitted it. Well, there's actually, I'm, I'm a pathologist, so I look at the brains from mad cows. I look at a disease in sheep that's called uh, enzoatic ataxia from 100 years ago. And guess what? It's the same disease. Well, I know it causes enzoatic ataxia in sheep. So the first case I got from uh, Holmes County, Ohio, uh, for <coughs> Creutzfeldt Jacobs disease, or mad cow disease in people, uh, this guy had had the disease for a year. He was in the terminal stages, and I treat him like I would a sheep with enzoatic ataxia or cow with mad cow disease, and in two months' time, his doctor declared him perfectly normal. Incredible. How did you, so what did you treat him with? 
the Alex Pack. Seriously. And again, you call it the Alex, uh, the, uh, Alex Pack, the Osteo FX, the Essential Fatty Acids, and Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Right. What was happening with Ted Anderson's dad on the Alex Pack in just three to four months? Okay, what's happening there, Alex, is your brain requires all 90 essential nutrients. You can't get it from your food. It's impossible to get from your food. Um, we used to get minerals from our food because we put the wood ashes, which are really minerals when you burn the wood. Uh, from the trees, the, the powder that's left is not ashes, it's really minerals. And you put it in the garden, you ate the okra and the sweet potatoes and the corn and the tomatoes and things. You got minerals in that fashion. Well, how many wood ashes do we put in the garden now and eat entirely out of the garden? Very few people in America do that. And so we don't get the minerals. Well, the Alex pack has all the minerals in it that are necessary. And there actually is a vitamin. There's one vitamin that causes a disease called Korsakoff syndrome that looks exactly like Alzheimer's disease. And I am able to eliminate that disease in people usually in a week or two by giving them the Alex pack because it's a simple disease. you got to get them off of sugar, too, because sugar makes that deficiency, that vitamin, um, uh, worse. It was actually discovered in the year 1712 by a Japanese naval surgeon. We've known it for 300 years. Now, if the degeneration's gone too far, though... So I've talked to Dr. Blaylock, and you've got that chronic inflammation from the sugar, the aspartame, the MSG. You know, sometimes the brain is too far gone, you know, from damage. That's true. There's always that position because it wants to go away. Everything wants to go away. And that's why you have to take these nutrients every day. It's just like you need oxygen all day. You can't just take oxygen. And, and there's also trauma from playing football and stuff. Mm -hmm. Sure. That all counts. But um, for the most part, what we've learned, when people have this Korsakoff syndrome, which looks like Alzheimer's disease, 95% of the time, they get so much better, uh, they come from... But imagine the doctor when, I mean, it was dramatic. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, but you might have a stroke if you've got vitamin K. Mm -hmm. you keep taking your Coumadin, even though he's never had a stroke. Yeah, well, he could uh, continue taking Coumadin if his wife wants him to take Coumadin. Why were, why were the rot holes in the arm going away? Um, you always see these old people with just these big, bloody balls on their arms. Your arms look like a 30-year-old guy's arms. Yeah, look at that. Too bad. That's amazing. And you're, and you're almost 70, right? 73. 73, excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's just hard to believe. Yeah. 73. L look at that arm, folks. Zoom in on that. A 73-year-old man's arm. It hangs out in my truck window. It's a little browner. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, yeah mo nobody's going to steal an airplane with me on it, Alex. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us. Dr. Joel Wallach is our guest. We'll get another really key news straight ahead. As we saw in Katrina, and as we are watching now in New York and New Jersey, the federal government can't and won't help you in a crisis. FEMA ran out of water and MREs in days. Electricity is still off to over one million people. The Red Cross, who is quick to beg for money, is now slow to react. Don't put it off any longer. Get prepared today. The InfoWars shop is the largest distributor of ProPure water filter systems. And now, get 15% off your ProPure order with the promo code WATER15. While you're on InfoWarsShop.com, check out these other great preparedness items. The Aquapod Kit lets you store up to 65 gallons of water in your bathtub. The Pocket Socket provides you with manual electricity for small electronics like your cell phone. The Life Straw is great for your bug out bag. And check out our complete line of inner food products for great tasting and nutritionally dense foods that have a great shelf life. If you are looking to secure your home in a crisis, you can order Strategic Relocations the film, a great companion to the book Strategic Relocations 3rd Edition, and The Secure Home by Joel Skousen. When the time to perform arrives, the time to prepare has already passed. Get prepared now, so if a crisis strikes your home, you and your family will be secure. Go to InfoWarsShop.com, and don't forget the promo code WATER15. I wanted to bring him a question because some of their brands of plant-derived minerals, and I've also seen this at Whole Foods with other companies that have copied what uh, Dr. Wallach's done, it will say may contain trace amounts of lead, arsenic, uh, or then it goes on and says uh, uh, aluminum. But then uh, you'll notice on Beyond Tangy Tangerine it doesn't say that. 
Uh, and I know they've, I was talking to your son, Steve Wallach, they've actually gone and had some big you know, university look at it, and they can't even find trace amounts. It's just that big companies, it was recommended years ago, because it's plant-derived. When you're eating an apple, it's going to have stuff because it's out of the dirt. They say this, uh, but it's not like when you're vaccine injecting something in you, but that's something uh, that the establishment has certainly been upset about, you know, trying to say that, uh, oh, you know, this is evil and horrible. But I've noticed with a lot of the high-quality sea salts, it'll have that as well. But unfortunately, I was, uh, it's, it's not on the packaging now, and I was talking to Steve Wallach, the, uh, even on the, some of the other packaging, they're going to take it off because they did the test, because you're saying you actually do. And my dad's always said this. One very small amounts of it, bound with the other things, because somehow from the studies he's talked about, it activates things. Uh, but uh, you've got the floor on this subject. Break down exactly what you're talking about. Okay, well, first of all, um, all vertebrates, whether you're a hummingbird or an elephant or a snake or a human, we all need 60 minerals. 60 minerals. And uh, these minerals include things like arsenic and lead and aluminum. These are essential nutrients. But there is a bell-shaped curve for all essential nutrients. For instance, something like... Um, uh, vitamin C it has a bell-shaped curve that looks like um, Ayers Rock in Australia. You know, it's just a flat thing forever before it comes down where too much will do you some good. You get diarrhea if you take too much vitamin C. The same thing is true with arsenic. Arsenic, um, uh, from research back to 1947, uh, shows that you can actually um, eliminate um, the worst type of leukemia by supplementing with arsenic. Well, that's what my dad, when I was a kid, would, would, would talk about. He said that if you don't have arsenic, you'll, you'll die. Your hair will fall out. I mean, I mean, I mean, your hair's got it in it. Well, yeah, you, you have to have arsenic. And you notice that the EPA never says, we're working towards an arsenic-free world. No, no, they say it has to be below a certain level. Because, again, that's that bell-shaped curve thing. Um, and uh, the optimal amounts are in parts per billion. It's a tiny, tiny little. But unfortunately, thing. they've done the test. It's not even in that. And, that, and that's about to. So, I mean, I, I guess you need to add some. Well, I believe it's in there. I think they use a standard test that's not sensitive enough to, to find the amount. But the point is, a lot of supplement companies put that on, I guess, because the government said so or something. What about the warning? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. If it, that doesn't bother me because we test it. Uh, we test every batch, and we make sure that it's below that parts per billion. No, no, but I understand. But explain what a plant-derived mineral is anyways. That's, okay. that's what used to be put on the crops. Well, yeah. And basically where the plant-derived minerals came from was the powder that was left in the wood stove and the, the fireplace and the fire pit. You notice I didn't call it wood ashes because it's really not ashes. The powder that was left, that gray powder uh, that's left when you burn logs in a fireplace or in a wood stove, uh, it was taken out every morning and put into the garden. Well, that powder was actually the minerals that the tree had sucked up out of the ground. So where do you get yours? I know where you do, but tell us. Well, actually, there's a deposit uh, in Utah that has, uh, oh, probably a 500-year supply if everybody in the world uses it correctly. Uh, and um, uh, this has 77 minerals in it. It's in a compost. It's in plant material. Uh, so we're able to get it certified organic uh, every year for 35 years. It's a 3,000-foot elevation. It's so it's an alluvial deposit of plant material. Yes, exactly, but it's mm -hmm. plant material. And it's covered by a, a 25 to 50-foot thick um, um, cap of limestone. It's marine limestone because we know because it has marine animal fossils and marine plant fossils in it. So this stuff was under the sea for thousands of years. Thousands. The earth is just filled with all sorts of goodies. Yeah, exactly. So this is the basis. This is what makes the Alec Pack unique. It has these um, 90 essential nutrients, but of that, two-thirds of them are these plant minerals. So it's ocean silt. I mean, all that life. And hold on. We're going to come right back straight ahead with Dr. Joel Wallach, InfoWarsHealth.com. Check it out today. Finishing up with the plant-derived minerals, you know, I did my research on this, and again, this package doesn't say may contain the traces, but you've got some of the pure mineral packs, you know, that, 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 that say that, but I know you guys are removing that just because you don't even have to have that on there. I just guess it, that's been going on. Some other companies do it. You guys decided to do it. But the point is, I give this to my children. The point is, my mother takes this. I take this. And it's just amazing that the power structure is so scared of this that they would try to put out rumors and things to demonize beyond tangy tangerine and things like that. Because, you know, they tell you you don't need 90 vitamins and minerals. They, they tell you you don't. I mean, hospitals, they admit, have the most unhealthy food out there. Talk about what some of the deficiencies in vitamins and minerals causes. You were telling me during the break about aluminum. Okay, well, aluminum is the most common mineral in the crust of the earth. That's why it's so cheap. It's used for everything. And it makes up 12% of the earth's crust. I guarantee you that if I were to do a hair analysis of every vegan in America and every vegetarian in America 
if you look at their hair analysis, the mineral that's going to give the biggest spike is going to be aluminum. Okay? You cannot eat a carrot, you cannot eat a tomato. Anything that's grown in the earth is going to have more aluminum in it than any other mineral in there. And so people are insane if they're afraid of aluminum. Um, because it's everywhere. Well, that's what Dr. Uh, Blaylock says. He says it's when they inject it in, in a vaccine with with the tetanus or whatever it is, it causes an adjuvant effect mm -hmm. with that and confuses the body, that it's the boosting effect of the aluminum on on the pathogen that's causing the autoimmune response. Yeah, yeah, it's not the aluminum. It's, it's indirectly it is, but it's not the aluminum directly causing the, the problem. Um, but at any rate, when you have a deficiency of aluminum, you get four arms, six arms, six legs, and um, uh, talk about Spider-Man, right? Well, there, a couple of years ago, there was this little girl in India who had four arms and four legs, and her mother was deficient in aluminum. Well, if it makes up 12% of the Earth's crust, how could she be deficient? Well, she had gluten intolerance. She couldn't absorb enough aluminum, and the baby is born with all these limbs. You know, um, this happened many, many times over the years because they have these statues of these gods in India I think it's Krishna that has four arms and four legs, a very famous um, Indian god. And so um, aluminum, even in adults, you get a type of liver cirrhosis when you don't have enough aluminum. So you need it, okay? You just need it in, in parts per million. Uh, same way with arsenic. Uh, but then there's a difference between sodium fluoride that you need some of, I mean calcium fluoride, and sodium fluoride, and then they manipulate the structure and make it a deadly acid. And then when I've, what doctors have explained to us here, but, but break this down, it then fills up the thyroid so the good things can't get in. It's a blocker, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Uh, of course, the thyroid is a funny organ. It requires all 90 essential nutrients. The thyroid gland requires all 90 essential nutrients. kind of funny. Uh, you ask a doctor, what is your thyroid need? They'll say iodine. Well, iodine is part of the structure of the hormone, but to function, the thyroid needs all 90 essential nutrients, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids. And um, anything that interferes with that is going to cause, if thyroid doesn't work, they test you and say, well, all your lab tests are normal. We don't know why your thyroid's not working. Well, it might be missing copper. It might be missing selenium. It might be missing zinc um, because it needs all of them. Um, one of my favorites, of course, is thiamine, vitamin B1, a congestive heart failure. Uh, the most common cause of heart death in America is caused by a thiamine, vitamin B1 deficiency. It's, it's, it's actually caused by a deficiency of one vitamin. Uh, we get people off the heart transplant list all the time by giving them... It's incredible, and people should just take the challenge mm -hmm. and do the Alex pack, that's the essential fatty acids, the Osteo FX Plus, and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, those three things. Yes, sir. Uh, what else, though, people want to do more? What else should they be doing? Okay, well, it depends. If they're active, if they're out there doing physical work, throwing bales of hay, carpenters working in a factory, roofing, uh, or athletes, or they're working out, regardless of your age, or sweating, uh, you want to take the rebound, which is our sports drink has 100 nutrients in it. Uh, Gatorade has two. 100, two, which is your choice. If you have somebody you love, are you going to give them a sports drink that has two nutrients or uh, 100? According to the Center for Disease Control, Alex, each year in America, 75,000 to 100,000 young people under the age. Let's talk about it on the other side. We'll be right back. And again, I promote the Longevity products and have them discounted at InfoWarsHealth.com. If you want to join and get discounts, become a distributor, InfoWarsTeam.com. Now, uh, continuing, you got cut off by the break. I know we were trying to get Theo, the uh, you know famous now retired that you helped stay in 10 more years, a uh, professional basketball player. Uh, we were talking about rebound with 100 essential n nutrient sports drink versus two in Gatorade. Mm -hmm. uh, or what is it? Uh, also, two. Yeah, also two in the other uh, uh, Powerade one. Mm -hmm. and, and again, it's all available at InfoWarsHealth.com in two different flavors, Berry Boost and also the Citrus uh, Punch. They have a powder and a liquid. And when you do purchase it, they're at InfoWarsStore.com. It also supports our broadcast, not just the discounts there, but Regardless, this is a revolution against tyranny, just like we have the national opt out against the TSA and film them, just like we're going for states' rights. We're about what works here. And I bring you what I've researched and I believe in. So I've been back and forth bantering here, Doc. Before we go to calls, the toll free number to join us, 800 259 uh, Finishing up with the sports drink situation. Well, um, we had 75,000 to 100,000 young athletes under the age of 30 drop dead each year in America. We're talking about people who work in an office and they'll jog over the lunch hour. And they drop dead. We're talking about cardiomyopathy, heart disease, which is a selenium deficiency. It's the marathon runners. Exactly. Um, 75,000 to 100,000 each year, according to the um, Center for Disease Control. And uh, some of them die of uh, ruptured aortic aneurysms, a copper deficiency, cardiomyopathy, heart disease, one of the more common ones. 
And I've done 1,200 autopsies, 1,200 autopsies on kids under the age of 10 that have died of a cardiomyopathy heart attack. Okay? And this is so tragic when all you have to do, all you have to do is give them the Alex pack appropriate for their body weight, give them a little extra of the uh, rebound, they're getting all these nutrients, and you'll avoid all that. We'll save 75,000 to 100,000 great kids every year. Unbelievable. I knew multiple kids uh, playing football that just dropped dead and died in Rockwall. Yep. People can look up when I was uh, at, at Rockwall uh, middle school and then high school, and, and you, you can look it up uh, back in the 80s, and there were two deaths while I was there, just where they had on the football field and dropped dead. Yep. Well, that's how it happens. Uh, ruptured aneurysm, you're playing, everything's fine. You go up for a rebound, you come down, you're dead. Um, same way with uh, cardiomyopathy heart attack. Reggie Lewis, 28 years old, he died of a cardiomyopathy heart attack. All they had to do is give him the Alex pack and 50 cents worth of selenium. He'd still be alive today. Because the heart's that big, thick muscle that just keeps working and keeps pumping, and it's electrochemical. What happens, Doc, when, that, when it doesn't have what it needs? Well, it just stops. Okay, it's just like, again, that lamp. You pull the plug, doesn't have what it needs. There's not a flow of electrons going through there. Light bulb goes. Heart up. runs out of gas, it's over. That's right. And it's better that you put the oil in the car before the engine burns up. Now, and as you get older, your heart, your, your guts get more and more clogged. You're not getting what you need. That heart still boom, 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 24 hours a day. You know, the reason why I look 50 and I'm 73, Alex, is I've been taking the 90 essential nutrients twice a day since I was nine. Started you, taking when I was nine. Now, 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 you're saying you discovered this yourself, but it's kind of like discovering, you know, when you're 14, how beautiful women are. I'm not taking your, your discovery away. You've helped popularize and everything. But when I worked for Jess Edkins, large animal vet, off and on for three years uh, in East Texas, they'd send me down there on the summer. And then one time I got in trouble when I was a sophomore. They sent me, I was out of school for a year. They sent me down there and said, this will teach you. You're going down to work on, you know, a large animal vet, you know, for uh, most of a year. It was about nine months. And believe me, I was ready to come back and behave after that. That, that guy worked like a still working. Anyways, it looks like Grizzly Adams. People know what I'm talking about down there because I know we have a station in that area. But the point is, that guy, he would always say, oh, you got calves dying, you got you know, this and that happening. You need to put them on this mineral, that mineral. You need to give them this and that. I mean, he knew that. He, you know, yeah, he was one of the top of his class at A&M. I mean, that's known. Well, yes, in the, in the animal industry it is. Now, here's, here's why I did it. Um, I had what would be called Tourette syndrome today when I was four years old. I was, you know, kind of blinking my eyes and getting facial cramps and uh, would get uh, tetany and fall over. And my friends all said I was uh, possessed. And it uh, got worse every year. By the time I was nine years old, it was really bad. So my mom took me to an eye doctor. And the eye doctor says, look, um, can't find anything wrong with the kid, but he has long eyelashes. And I think they're hitting his glasses, curling back and tickling his eyeballs. That's what's happening here. And I'm only nine years old, Alex. And I said, nah, that's not right. That can't be right. So I said, what do you want me to do? So the doctor says, well, why don't you just take this Maybelline eyelash brush and retrain your eyelashes? Now, I'm playing sports, right? That was before Don't Ask, Don't Tell. They had to rip my arms off, beat me to death with my arms, right? So I went to school the next day, looked in a nurse's handbook on um, what causes things. I couldn't find long eyelashes and eyelid twitches, so I found cramps. It said calcium deficiency. So I, before the bus would pick me up in the morning to go to school, I would have to feed these calves we were going to sell in the um, auction. And we'd make them a little fatter, a little shinier. We'd give them these. Uh, no, no, I actually have done that myself. You know, you, uh, you buy brand new calves. You got a bottle, feed them, and you can sell them, yeah. Exactly. Well, I was giving them these alfalfa pellets, and on the analysis tag, it said calcium. So uh, when I came home that afternoon, I went right to the bar and started eating those calcium-filled uh, uh, um, alfalfa pellets for the calves. For breakfast, I threw the Cheerios out to the chickens, and I had the alfalfa pellets with milk for breakfast and so on. By the third day, my Tourette syndrome was gone. So when I was nine years old, I knew the doctors didn't know anything about nutrition. You know, sometimes that could have been your guardian angel telling you that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think it was a divine appointment because no nine-year-old kid is going to figure that out by himself. So I, I, there had to be a greater hand involved. I do believe that. And I think that's why I give 300 free lectures a year because I figure if I was given that information, I'm supposed to be giving it out. So you started taking the animal vitamins and it was over. Yep. Just like people with the microplasm discovered right off the bat, they could go to the, 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 the feed store, get the cheap antibiotics, boom, they're cured. Nobody tell them. That's right. When you're talking about rheumatoid arthritis, um, mad cow disease, a.k.a. Creutzfeldt Jacobs disease, and this is going to be published. It's perfect timing because I have another book coming out next year, and um, there's going to be a whole chapter in there about prions and mad cow disease because there's a principle involved here. It's called Koch's Postulates. Um, back in the day when Pasteur and this Van Leeuwenhoek discovered that there were germs, the germ theory days, it would cause these diseases. It wasn't uh, spontaneous um, generation. 
that um, everybody jumped in, the doctors all jumped in as well. These bacteria, these bugs, these germs cause everything. And Koch was a very smart man. He said, no, no, no. you got to be able to isolate the bug that you think is causing it, grow it on an artificial medium, then inject it into a susceptible host, get the disease, isolate it again, regrow it on a susceptible medium. If you get the same bug, then you can say it caused it. Well, with these prions, they haven't done that. They've, ne they've tried it, but they haven't never... Uh, That's why they say they haven't proved prions cause it. That's right. Well, I know it causes it because I got rid of the first case I ever got in two months. And again, how do you reverse it? Well, it's actually a mineral deficiency, and it goes back to the first descriptions in sheep, um, which is called um, um, enzootic ataxia in sheep. When you look at sheep with enzootic ataxia, they kind of wobble around like a drunk sailor, foam at the mouth, kind of like a mad cow, right? And then the mad cows look like a sheep. When you look at their brains, it's the same disease. So without even doing any lab analysis, I just said, well, if the lesions look the same, if the changes in the brain look the same, it's got to be the same. So uh, I've been looking for about 10 years for somebody with creutzfeldt jacobs disease, which is the human version of mad cow disease. And I just gave him the Alex pack and some extra uh, minerals. Two months' time is gone. His doctor kicked him out of the hospice because he said he doesn't have it anymore. I know. And, you, and, and again, you cover all this. You break it down. We've got links to it. We've got your books available at InfoWarsStore.com. It is just amazing that the system knows you need these building blocks, but they want you to be sick so that they can then give you all the treatments to pay off their half-million-dollar student loans. And, and uh, look, here's an example. We did this a few months ago. We're, we're going to do the whole hour here. We're going to do the whole hour. Whole hour we're doing it. This is awesome having you here so we can take the calls. But uh, Dan Bedondi's out there. He's perfect to do this. Uh, remember those articles out of the newspaper? It was in Texas Papers and some others that said, that we showed this like five times a month ago. Um, I can remember the exact headline, but, but it was, uh, you, you, you know, something like, take your flu shots. And then it said, it's a lie. There's no side effects from flu shots. Yeah, it was like, take your flu shots, be a good neighbor, print me that article, and then we show the CDC's on site where it says brain damage, death, autoimmune disorders, uh, 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 Guillain-Barre. What's happening with the vaccines? Because here's my point. The doctors know up until four years ago w w that, it, you know, uh, that the insert said don't give a pregnant woman any vaccines. It can cause an autoimmune problem. You know, birth defects. Yeah, you know, birth defects. But, I mean, everyone knew that. That was in the insert, still is. Four years ago, they started saying, no, pregnant women need it more. It's like they want to just try to go all the way and just see what we'll put up with. And everywhere, flu shot, flu shot, flu shot. Meanwhile, they're on the news in, in Parade Magazine, you name it, everywhere saying there is no side effects. It's a conspiracy theory. Don't believe the people. And then meanwhile, the CDC's got... 24 pages of links to hundreds of pages, each link, how it'll kill you. And then uh, they've done big studies where the uh, shots they're taking for the HPV are being found with this RNA and stuff in the brains of women dying taking it. They're having autoimmune disorders and bleeding out of every orifice. They died six years ago during the trials. They still approved it. I mean, this is not just dumbed down people doing this. I mean, they doctors know when they now say a woman needs shots, more shots when you're pregnant. They know full well they were taught in medical school, don't ever give a pregnant woman a shot. So, so what's going on here? What's happening? Well, again, the medical system has legislated themselves, Alex, into a monopoly. They're the only monopoly that's legal in America, the medical system. They've killed off all their um, competition legislatively. Skip the break, guys. Go ahead. Everybody who is not an MD is a quack, according to the MDs and the laws they've gotten into place. Now, Chinese traditional medicine has been around for 10,000 years before the Egyptians. And medical doctors say these guys are quacks. Well, the Chinese don't have any health care problems like we have, right? Maybe they're still using their herbs and acupuncture and all that kind of stuff. And they're in the middle of a toxic waste dump. <laughs> Exactly. They, they live longer than us now, yes. and, and their rivers catch on fire routinely. Exactly. And so um, their medical system works very nicely, thank you, with these quacks that they've been using for 10,000 years. And the medical system, and you, you know the name Benjamin Rush? Yes. Okay, Benjamin Rush, of course, was uh, George Washington's uh, personal military physician. Killed him. Yeah, he was the first, um, uh, let's see, who's the first U.S. Surgeon General? And also... First psychiatrist. First psychiatrist, okay. And he also um, was a, a signer of the Declaration of Independence. And he actually sent Jefferson a note, which um, he used in my presentation. And this, this was for insertion into the Constitution. And they're talking about the First Amendment, and freedom of speech and freedom of religion. He said, we also need to put in there freedom of what medical 
type of doctor you want to use. And if you don't, there's going to be one class of men. As I'm quoting him. Yeah, no, he was a good guy. Then he he, he, he won the doctor. He killed. He didn't. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, that's right. Rush is a good guy. I'm going from yeah. memory. And so he said, um, uh, the the um, uh, if we don't if we don't put this in the Constitution that people have the right to choose what doctor they want. One group of doctors is going to take over, and it's going to be the Bastille of America. No, I remember actually reading that. Now, mm -hmm. My memory's not coming back on that. We should do a report on that. Yep, and uh, that's worth a whole day because this guy was great, and, and his worst nightmares from 300 years ago are coming true now because the medical system is essentially is like 20, 25% of our GDP. Okay. Well, let's go over it all then. I mean, why are we the sickest, the fattest, the dumbest now from the strongest, the longest lived? What, what's happened to us and where is it going before we go to calls? Okay, well, the reason is, um, Alex, that we've gone to drugs instead of nutrition. Medical doctors don't get 30 minutes of nutrition in 14 years of medical school. It should be a felony for a medical doctor to say anything about nutrition. I'll give you two examples. The worst example I can think of is Alzheimer's disease, which is a physician-caused disease. Um, the 75 percent of your brain weight uh, is myelin, this insulation material in the brain. When it goes away, uh, the naked nerve fibers all tangle up, short circuit, and you get Alzheimer's disease. That's the short version of what Alzheimer's disease is. Well, this myelin that makes up 75 percent of your brain weight is 100 percent cholesterol. So you go on a statin drug to lower your cholesterol, you're eating egg white omelets and um, you're eating um, things like egg beaters, you're eating boneless skinless chicken breast, you're eating tofu instead of red meat, uh, you're avoiding butter and dairy products, and you're eating oils like canola oil, that kind of stuff. Uh, your brain goes away. And so they've created this terrible dementia that didn't exist 40 years ago. And we could pull up right now on screen, you know, studies, brain volume getting smaller, mm -hmm. IQs lowering. The brains are shriveling. Yeah, exactly, because they're lacking cholesterol. To and the system knows that. They say don't have salt, don't have fat. But meanwhile, they push all these hydrogenated fats, which are the artificial ones. Right, it was margin, essentially. And um, uh, one of the things I show uh, in my presentation, Alex, is our billionaires today, March of 2011, I mean, last year, uh, these billionaires can afford the most expensive doctors, the most expensive drugs, healthcare systems, uh, insurance. They, Bill Gates has a 75,000 square foot home because he's got an indoor pool, he's got an indoor track, he's got a tennis court in his house, all that kind of stuff. They should be the healthiest guys on earth, but billionaires don't live to be 100. There's never one been living to be 100. Their average lifespan is only 78. And the people who live the longest are illiterate people that don't go to kindergarten. Uh, we have one who died in December of 2008. This guy's name is George Francis. He died at 112. He's the oldest man in America and um, illiterate. And this guy, when they ask his daughter, what did your daddy do to live to be 112? She said he ate lard, eggs, and dairy products. I was going to stop right there. I'm not going to use any names, but um, I actually know a prominent ranching family here in Austin, Texas. And the and the grandpa, I think he died at 103. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's all he ate was eggs and giant pounds of bacon. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not big on the bacon, but I, I like to eat eight. Well, no, but I'm not even saying that's good. But they, it was like the joke was he eats bluebell ice cream. He eats b giant things of bacon and steaks. Well, bluebell ice cream, Alex, is an essential nutrient. <laughs> I just drove through Brennan this weekend. I had to get out of here for F1. I was gone one day. Oh, uh, yeah. You like Bluebell? Uh -huh. oh, yes, sir. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor? Oh, vanilla. I just love vanilla. Yeah, I like the Dutch chocolate, but I stay away from it. Uh, <laughs> you need to come out with a Beyond Tangy Tangerine flavor of Bluebell. Well, we, we actually, um, that's a good idea. We could do that. We'll contact them. That's a good idea. Fruit Punch yeah. Bluebell. Well, there you go. Uh, but we actually um, uh, want people to get on that Alex pack because we need these 90 cents. And this is why we're so sick. You can't name me a disease that's not caused by a nutritional deficiency. Okay, that's that's very scary. Alzheimer's disease, uh, other dementias, uh, Korsakoff syndrome, uh, vascular dementia. Hyperactivity hyper disorder. Oh, my goodness. Back when I was a kid, there was no such thing as hyperactivity or ADD. Or I've seen TV or... shows, the kid's ADD, and they're, and they're interviewing the kid, and he has, like, Jolly Rancher bag and a Coca-Cola. You're giving him a stimulant, and the kid's sitting with giant black circles around his eyes, hmm. and they're going to put him on antipsychotics. Hmm. Well, I, t I take those kids, and in two weeks' time, they're perfectly normal. You just get them off the sugar, get them off the of gluten, you know, make them eat four eggs a day. You get them on the... Um, Put it in bluebell ice cream, right? Put the eggs in there, put the eggs on top of it. And then you um, get them on the uh, Alex pack appropriate for their body weight. 
and it all goes away. But they got to stay away from sugar and they got to stay away from gluten. No wheat, brought around oats and give them the 90 essential nutrients. All that autism, all the ADD, ADHD, hyperactivity goes away. And that's a profound statement. But if you look in that book, Rare Earths Bin Cures, which I believe you have in your store. Yes. Rare Earths Bin Cures. I have pictures. How I, I, You don't need to go to a, a child psychiatrist to diagnose it. Just get a coloring book and give them just a whole slew of colors. And somebody with ADD or ADHD or autism, they'll pick out the darkest colors. They'll pick out black, purple, dark green, and they won't stay in the lines. They just scribble all over the page. Whereas somebody else, another kid who doesn't have these problems, they'll be impeccable about choosing the per perfect color for whatever the subject is, and they'll stay within the line. They're very mess fastidious about staying in the lines. I was actually up in Canada a couple of weeks ago going to a private school to lecture to a bunch of uh, teachers up there, and um, they had this hallway with all these kids' colorings. They're like second grade kids, their colorings, like you see in some of these uh, breakfast houses during Thanksgiving and Easter and Christmas and Halloween. They have all these color pictures. And I said, Oh, that one's got autism. That one's got, this, this one's got autism. And they're all whispering, You got 100%. How did you know those kids had autism? I said, Well, look, he just took black and red and dark purple and just not even staying in the lines. He said, That's typical of those kids. Everybody else stayed in the lines, chose the right color. And that book, uh, Rare Earths Bend Cure, shows you how to diagnose those things yourself how to deal with it, how to get rid of it, and don't don't get these kids on Ritalin. Do not do that. Well, they admit Ritalin actually shrinks the brain and, and expands the heart. Why is that? Well, it interferes with nutrients. Anytime you have the heart enlarged, you're looking at um, deficiencies of thiamine, congestive heart failure, or cardiomyopathy heart disease, a deficiency of selenium. So many of these drugs actually interfere with um, the... the um, uh, metabolism of nutrients, okay? And so that's how you get these diseases as secondary to drugs. For instance, uh, you take cortisone, prednisone, you're going to get type 2 diabetes and arthritis. It's just a given. Why is diabetes, uh, I mean, you have the number here, but uh, 30%. 50, 30% now, they are estimating the next 10 years, 50% yes. or higher, and people can just type in 50% to have diabetes in 10 years, and you'll pull up MSNBC, you name it. In fact, guys, just, just do that uh, so people can see we're telling the truth. Uh, I mean, and they never talk about what's causing it. It's always, let's find a cure. Well, we, well see, they're doing research and raising money. That's an industry, right? Um, we've known for 70 years what causes type 2 diabetes. And that's why I can make somebody an ex-diabetic in 2 to 14 days. I'll tell you a great story. Just take two minutes or less. Uh, there's a guy who owns the third largest medical laboratory in America. He services 7,000 hospitals and hundreds of thousands of doctors' offices every day. His name is Jerry Murphy. He said I could use his name. And uh, he had terrible diabetes, brittle diabetes. His blood sugar was like 300 with injectable insulin. Couldn't get it down. His A1C hemoglobin was like 8.9, supposed to be below 5. And uh, we had a mutual friend introduce us, and this guy's very skeptical. He's got three PhDs in medical chemistry, that kind of thing. And he says, okay, Wallach, he says, this guy's been bragging on you, and I don't believe you. He said, but I'll give you 90 days. If you can get rid of my diabetes in 90 days where my numbers all come into normal without medication, I'll be your best friend. I'll fly around my jet planes, and I'll show up spontaneous. You won't know it. I'll just show up someplace when I have time, and I'll give my testimony. But if you can't. If you fail, I'm going to hire somebody who will dog you every day for the rest of your life and stand up and interrupt your meetings and throw eggs and tell them you're a quack and all that kind of stuff. He said, okay, let's go for it. He was kind of shocked that I didn't equivocate. And so <clears throat> in two months' time, his A1C hemoglobin went from 8.9 down to 4.3, way below 5. His blood sugar went down from over 200 down to 62 without medication. So now he's my best friend. And this guy had access to the best endocrinologist, all the experimental drugs, all the newest treatments. This guy is one of the top medical guys in America. So uh, diabetes is the easiest thing to get rid of because it's a... In a nutshell, what do you do? Well, you take the Alex Pack and Sweeties. Just take the Alex Pack and Sweeties. Check your fasting blood sugar in the morning before you medicate yourself. And as your blood sugar drops, keep lowering your medication as you've been empowered to do. goes away in 2 to 14 days. And it all happens. I mean, go over. All you take OsteoFX... Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Essential Fatty Acids. We're going to go to calls. And We're going to Sweeties. And the Sweeties are the little mineral pills mm -hmm. that, that taste sweet, we'll, that my kids love. We'll, we'll be right back. Stay with us. And show people, it says, take your medicine. Getting a flu shot is part of being a good neighbor. This is out of the Longview News Journal. And a few weeks ago or a month ago, I showed a whole bunch of articles saying the same thing. And it goes on to say... Um, 
you know, don't believe. And there is no truth in the notion that vaccines will give you the flu. I'm, I'm trying to find the part here where they say that there are no side effects. Uh, don't let yourself be fooled by wild rumors. Uh, there are absolutely no harm from getting a vaccination. No harm. And I showed this in article after article. No harm from the vaccine. And it goes on to say wild rumors. Now, showing you right here, here is the CDC. Thank you, guys. Uh, possible side effects from vaccines. And you go through here, and this is just a synopsis that's, uh, well, this time it printed 20 pages. It printed like 23 last time. Uh, and you go through here, it has subsections that goes to whole other huge PDF files uh, where it talks about mild problems, and it goes through each major vaccine. Headaches, upper respiratory infection, stuffy nose, sore throat, abdominal pain, coughing, nausea, diarrhea, fever. More serious problems, blood and urine or stool, pneumonia, inflammation of stomach, intestines. Uh, you know, here's another one. I'll find one that says uh, death here. They've got death, they've got coma, uh, seizures, nonstop crying, high fever of 105, that's moderate. Long-term seizures, coma. Uh, or lowered consciousness, permanent brain damage. This is, uh, uh, these are just, I mean, CDC. Here, let me give you the exact website. It's cdc.gov forward slash print dot do question mark URL equals HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash www.cdc.gov forward slash vaccines forward slash vac dash gen forward slash side dash effects dot htm. I just keep going here. I mean, I'm just, just death, you know, brain damage. But, but, but you heard them though. There's absolutely no, nothing, and don't let people give you rumors, Dr. Wallach. What's going on in the vaccines that we're going to go to calls? Well, first of all, um, vaccines don't protect everybody it's given to. It might, to some vaccines, only protect 10% of the people, so 90% get the risk, but no protection. And so uh, another problem is with flu shots, uh, knocks your immune system down to almost zero for about three months after you get the flu shot. So everybody who gets a flu shot in the fall gets the flu. That's why the major studies that just came out of the Canadian, as you know, can a Canadian government found it doubled your chances of getting the flu. That's correct. This is a great thing to take, man. <laughs> you, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you're right on top of it. That's good stuff. And um, the uh, if you want, if you insist on taking a flu shot, if you want to get that 10 percent benefit, do it in March. Then by July, your immune system's coming back up, and you might get some protection. You might be one of those 10% that get the in, uh, protection. Um, the time to get a flu shot is when there's 10,000 people dying an hour, and you, you need you know, to do something. Uh, and there's a mega emergency, exactly. but again, you can't trust these crooks to put something in you because they've all been caught piggybacking things on them. Oh, that's right. HIV is a good one. Uh, oh, tell us about that. Well, how did that show up in all these countries at the same time? Oh, it was when they were giving all these hepatitis shots. Which they admit in congressional testimony that nobody knows. Mm -hmm. And who did they find? They went to clinics and convinced gay men, who they know are the biggest vector, because they have hundreds of partners on average, in New York, in San Francisco, in London, in Paris, to take the shot on purpose and then vector it out with their own inoculation into an area of the body not protected. Yeah, well, that's... The that's cold-blooded. That's primary site of entry, hmm. is rectum. Dude, that's, that is a serious, wicked operation. Well, that's um, social Darwinism. You know, about social Darwinism. Yeah, tell us about it. Oh, social Darwinism is kind of the eugenics thing. Uh, you make people perfect by killing off the imperfect ones. Uh, there was, I remember it was um, Moonraker in uh, 007. Yes. Uh, that's, uh, that's what got uh, Lurch on 007's side. But he says, hey, this guy, he's killing off all the people who aren't perfect. And the little gal's looking at him, and she's, he's looking at her, and neither of us are perfect. So we better go with 007 instead of the bad guy. Because uh, back in the day of um, Darwin, uh, there was one of his cousins who came up with eugenics. Galton. Gal there you go, Galton. And uh, he was one of Darwin's uh, cousins, and he came up with the idea, well, gosh, if there is uh, selective um, things going on out in nature that only the, the fittest survive, why don't we make the people who are the smartest and the most beautiful We'll make more of them, and we'll kill off all the ugly ones. We'll kill off all the sharp ones. And uh, this was, it bled into the Second World War, and that's where the Nazis were killing off everybody who weren't the tall, good-looking, blonde, Aryan guys. And, and that's the problem, is the modern medicine came out of eugenics, and that's why it just can't stop. Yeah, I've seen the state of Texas say, we put 
the minority kids, 69% on drugs and taken from their families because they're bad and they have bad genes. And the liberals all stand up and salute. These are not liberals. Well, Mengele, you know, he was mm -hmm. a Nazi doctor. Why are these bad guys always medical doctors? I don't know, but they are. Yeah. <laughs> There's one to do all these evil experiments on people and to come up with these really weird ideas. And, and poor Darwin's got to be rolling over in his grave because he never wanted to go there. But uh, they took it and they sort of... Um, twisted his... Uh, oh, yeah, then I get emails going, you're attacking Darwin. No, no, no. And, well, I mean, we're not even part of that discussion. Mm -mm. Social Darwinism is what we're talking about. Yeah, well, social Darwinism was something that came out long after he'd retired. It, it, it well, sure, and the robber barons picked it up because it was like, well, I'm killing you That because I'm in charge. It means it's my right to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm helping the world killing you. Because we're going to make the human population greater over over time. But you notice eugenics isn't doing that. Well, that was their goal, but they, they don't, of course. It's an evil, evil thing. We're going to go to phone calls, folks, but uh, Dr. Wallach, you obviously don't listen to my show. We, we obsess over eugenics, but I know you're a busy guy. <laughs> I've given 300 lectures a year in your own radio show that you normally be doing right now, and I appreciate you coming on with us and all the great team you've got, whether it's Michael Swirling or whether it's Ted Anderson or all the folks. I want to invite everybody to join InfoWarsTeam.com today. This is revolutionary, and I don't promote things unless I really believe in them. And, and I haven't even begun to promote longevity yet because I'm so busy doing the news, doing other things, that I can go out and get all the testimonials. When I go out on the road, it's incredible. I can go get my family. I can go. I mean, this is not hot air. I only promote what I believe in, and, and I believe you will get substantial benefit from the uh, longevity products available at InfoWarsTeam.com or InfoWarsHealth.com. Uh, you can also uh, call toll-free 877-551-1301, 877-551-1301. Uh, and you can uh, also go to the event that's coming up tonight, and we'll tell you at the end of this hour where that's going to be at the Promised Land Church Gymnasium, 1504 East 51st Street, uh, tonight and tomorrow night, uh, 6.30 to 10 p.m. with Dr. Wallach and others. Uh, but right now, let's go to your calls. I'll stop hogging him. Mike in Washington, you're on the air with Dr. Joel Wallach. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Yeah, I've been, uh, I just want to say I've been taking the healthy digestion pack for three months, and I noticed so much difference in my health, so I want to thank Dr. Wallach for that, and anyone wondering about the products, it's it's been great. Also, I just ordered your book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, and uh, I haven't been able to put it down. I finished it in two days. It's one of the greatest books I've ever read, just a really amazing story. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to ask to Dr. Wallach was, have you ever thought about writing a second book, picking up where you left off? And second, for Alex, I don't know if you heard about this up here in Washington. Some farmers got together with the Washington Farm Bureau, and they uh, wrote up a bunch of policy to block uh, federal drones in Agenda 21. Yes, so I did. No, no, here's what's happening. Everybody's fighting in all directions, and I've noticed with the globalists, if you just go out and confront them and fight them like you've done winning so many times, th th it's like the great Oz. It's all a projection. Then when we all start attacking, we're going to win. We because they can only do big, large frontal assaults. They can't handle a whole bunch of us like the Lillipullies tying them down. Yeah, well, I, I broke that story on examiner.com, so if anyone wants to check it out, uh, Washington farmers block federal drones in Agenda 21. It's a pretty cool story. Very exciting. Yes, we're aware of that. Thank you so much. Uh, your question for Dr. Wallach was? Yeah, I have, Go ahead. I have another book coming out uh, early next year. It's uh, called Epigenetics, The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission. Because all these diseases are not genetic, they're actually just nutritional deficiencies. And um, it picks up exactly where dead doctors don't lie, let off. And so thank you. For and we carry that book at InfoWarsStore.com, I should add. Uh, let's go to Ray in Oregon. Uh, Ray, you're on the air. Go ahead. Oh, Ryan, Hello? I can't even read now. Go ahead, Ryan. Yeah, um, I want to thank you for taking my phone call. I'm a first-time caller, just um, started listening a couple months ago. But I've just been slowly researching on good health and all that, and I came across that tangerine, and I haven't been able to try it yet. But my question is, um, have you heard of the Budwick diet? And um, I know you're, uh, you've advertised the water purification machines, and what about the Cajun water? And Tyrant? Cajun water, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> You know, Kagan water is a structured water, and we have one. It's called 360. We have our own uh, structured water. And uh, so we like structured waters and alkaline waters. We just don't like people to drink them during meals because they do neutralize stomach acid, and they're going to set you up for some allergies and things like that. So I like to drink um, our structured water and alkaline water at least a half hour before meals, half hour after meals, before you go to bed, when you wake up in the morning, 
Um, that's the way to take it. Uh, uh, don't drink it as a drink with meals because it will neutralize your stomach acid. Well, that's like they talk about uh, distilled water is a great diuretic. It's a great way to actually chelate, according to what I've uh, read from different medical journals. But if that's all you're getting, it's going to flush everything out. It's good to have a mixture, right? Well, there's two things you can do. Number one, if you're going to drink uh, um, distilled water, uh, you have to take it again a half hour before, half hour after meals. Don't take it with supplements because distilled water is a hungry water. It'll actually pull minerals out of your body. And the other thing you can do, if you make your own distilled water, you're buying distilled water, put one ounce of our just plain plant minerals in there. Just put an ounce of plant minerals per gallon, ah. uh, and that makes it nice. Exactly, exactly. So it has a lot of benefits to pull the bad stuff out, but it'll also pull the good stuff. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, and you put the plant minerals in there, then you don't have to worry about pulling All right, thank stuff. you, caller. Uh, Donna in New Hampshire, you're on the air with Dr. Wallach. Go ahead. Thank you for taking my call. And I've been doing um, the Alex pack for well over six months. The only problem that I'm having is with the EFAs. Um, is there anything that I can substitute? Because it seems like um, with my husband and I, my husband mainly has gout, mm -hmm. and the uh, fish oils mm -hmm. uh, just make him go into excruciating pain. Sure. And I also have problems. Well, 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 let me answer one question at a time, dear. Okay. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, when people are, um, have gout, they're going to be sensitive to fish and fish oils and so forth, uh, and that will aggravate symptoms. So what you want to do, we have one that's called Woman's Omega. Woman's Omega is made from evening primrose oil. It's just a plant that has nothing to do with any... Yeah, that's uh, in the catalog at InfoWarsHealth.com. It's called Woman's Omega, and he'll be fine. So you just have to make your Alex pack separately. In other words, um, and also you want to keep him away from the Osteo FX Plus, which does have shellfish in it. I would get what we call Cal Toddy. comes in a quart bottle like the Osteo FX Plus. It has everything in it except for the shellfish. be the same dosage uh, called Cal Toddy, like calcium toddy, like a hot toddy. And then you would do the uh, Beyond Tan Tangerine and do the Woman's uh, Omega. And that'll give him everything. Yeah, because that makes sense. Some people just can't eat fish or anything. Sell fish, yep. Yeah, well, you can't. Yeah, especially. So it's good to get that. In fact, my wife actually takes the uh, the uh, Primrose one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and, uh, wow, what is it about that, though? Or is it a imaginary? Because it seems like when I take it, the the, uh, the Primrose, it t I, I tend to get really, uh, like, it, it has like an amphetamine effect. Well, the Primrose oil, and, and actually all omega-3s, actually um, affect blood sugar levels. They, they help your pancreas uh, keep your blood sugars low. But I mean, I've actually taken it before, mm -hmm. and, and, and I don't like speeding. Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't know that, mm -hmm. so, so it can do that. Oh, yeah, because it messes around with your blood sugar. And, um, uh, these but the fish oil doesn't do it. Why is it the primrose? Um, well, the primrose oil is a greater percentage of omega-3s than the fish oils. It's a higher percentage. It's more than the omega threes doing it. Now, here's well, that's the thing. This stuff's like drugs. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> no. I don't mean bad drugs. I mean it really has an effect on you. Oh yeah, no. That's what nutrition does. Alex is very dynamic. It makes everything work. Um, um, the thing about gout is your liver is not able to break down uric acid into the separate carbon units, and so you got to make the liver happy too. If your husband has gout, in addition to giving him the caltadi, the Beyond Tan Tangerine, and the Woman's Omega, I would also give him our selenium and our de-stress capsules, because that's going to make his liver happy, and he'll be able to break down the uric acid into little carbon units. All right, ma'am, does that answer your question? Great question. That answers. That's it. That's perfect. Thank you so You're much. very welcome. Yeah, no, I've, I've quit taking, because I, I don't know. I just kind of take different things, because I can't take all this stuff every day. I've never been to my taking vitamins and minerals and pills, so I try to just, okay, today I'll take this Primrose one, and, 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 the, next, and, and you know, the next day I'll take your EFA, because I'll be honest, sometimes... I burp. I don't like the fish flavor. But then I've tried other brands that are even, it's even worse. I mean, what is that? Well, um, again, with the fish, it has other things in there. It has fishy stuff in there. It's got fish proteins that make that happen. All the little bugs in your intestine like that, and they make gas. And um, so when that happens, we actually have what we call EFAs, which are in a darker soft gel capsule. It's just made from flaxseed oil and borage oil. Yeah, those don't do that. Yeah, so I need to take the black ones. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, got it, got it. I, I just mix it all up. I just well, that's why I have. I just noticed that when I take that Primrose stuff, look out, man. <laughs> it's like I'm, I won't take it. I mean, well, when we go, when we go uh, protest someplace, let's both take it. <laughs> 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 let's talk to Martha in Hawaii. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hi. Um, aloha. Hello, aloha. Um, we 
My husband has Parkinson's, and I have fibromyalgia. We've been on your uh, Beyond uh, Tangerine. We've been on the uh, Osteo FX. We've been on the EFA, and we've been on the enzymes. Also, I've cut the wheat out of our diet, and I'm taking as many eggs as, as, as possible. But I want to know, for the protein, does it have to be beef only, or can you eat pork in substitute of just eating the, the beef uh, with the okay. eggs? Okay, well, the eggs, um, what does your husband weigh? Uh, just about 200. Okay, he should be eating 12 to 15 eggs a day. They cannot be fried, sunny side up, or over easy. They have to be, uh, the yolk has to be soft. He's got to be soft poached or soft boiled, like one minute eggs, uh, soft, soft, soft scrambled in butter, not margarine or oils. And what do you weigh? Uh, uh, 155. Okay, then I would take six to eight eggs a day, okay, yourself. And the fibromyalgia, you also need to add our selenium and the glucogel for fibromyalgia, because it's, it's, um, it's a good thing that you're on the gluten-free diet. Let me ask you this. How long have you been uh, taking the longevity products? Oh, for, oh, for a while. I, I, every once in a while, I fall off because, quite honestly, I can't always afford them. No, no, but, I understand, but has it had a, 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 a positive oh, yes, effect? it's wonderful. The, uh, I, know the, I feel the difference. I, I know the, the effect, and I can feel the difference from the eggs and the protein. Everybody says I'm crazy because you're eating all these eggs. But when I'm on that diet, I feel much better. But I want to find out, can you take too much selenium? Well, of course you can, especially if it's going 4,000 feet per second, right? But basically, um, you, you can't afford it. You'd have to buy 60 bottles a day. It's, it's, it, you can, yes, take too much selenium, but it's not practical. You're not going to do it. Just what I'm taking in the, in the tangerine, is I'm getting enough? Oh, yeah. Well, no, I would take more. I'd get our selenium and take two of those capsules twice a day. Alex Jones here with a message that could revolutionize health in this country. Going back about a year and a half ago, I began to learn about the incredible health effects of Longevity products. Aaron Dykes lost 92 pounds. We're going to show you some before and afters. Aaron, break down what happened, your story. I've worked really hard with diet and exercise to try to lose weight, but I just didn't get the results. It just didn't happen. Then I saw what you were doing with InfoWarsTeam.com. I wasn't even trying to lose weight, but I got it because I wanted to feel better energy. I wanted that nutrition. Didn't even understand how that could kickstart my own weight loss goals. But the products did that for me. I found myself suddenly losing weight, more energetic, wanting to exercise, wanting to eat the right foods. And they don't even advertise it as weight loss. I want to challenge our radio listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com. Sign up as a distributor and get wholesale pricing discounts at InfoWarsTeam.com. Dr. Wallach, um, I mean, I know more and more because we've talked about this off air before. Uh, of mainline doctors are starting to wake up. There are some. Um, I think more pharmacists are converting. More and more pharmacists are coming to us saying, "I just can't do it anymore. I just can't give these prescriptions." Uh, it started about uh, oh, 20 years ago. I actually got a pharmacist in uh, uh, Palm Springs, California, who refused to uh, fill prescriptions for statin drugs. I convinced him what it was doing, causing Alzheimer's disease, erectile dysfunction, adrenal exhaustion, uh, PMS, menopause, all that kind of stuff. Well, my dad's done the research, and he's an oral surgeon and a dentist, and he says it, it ought to be illegal. It, I love that Dr. Blaylock, a brain surgeon, on. It literally eats your brain. Yeah, causes Alzheimer's disease. Statin drugs. And now they want to put it in water for kids. For eight-year-olds, that's right. And this is where we got to draw the line, because if you let them give an eight-year-old child statin <laughs> drugs, they won't live to be 20. And everyone will wonder why they're dying, and the medical system will oh, Frankenstein them and get them. I mean, these are murderers. Yeah, well, they'll, they'll say it's autoimmune. Your body's attacking itself. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's talk to Brian in Ohio. You're on the air with Dr. Joel Wallach. Hey, thanks, Alex. Hey, Dr. Wallach. Yes, sir. Do you have any suggestions for uh, people suffering with asthma? I've yes, had it for two years, and uh, if well, you this, can this, a little help here. Oh, okay, well, this is one of my favorite diseases. You can get rid of that in two weeks. Uh, do you, let me ask you two questions. Do you have any history of eczema, dermatitis, dry skin, psoriasis, rosacea? None. Okay, what about any constipation where you need laxatives or um, uh, fiber to have regular bowel movements? Nope. Okay, better ask you another one. Um, did you have diarrhea? Did you have it the other way? Sometimes. Ah, okay. Yeah, you have a gluten intolerance. You must get off of gluten. What do you weigh? Uh, 217. 
217, okay, you have to get off of gluten, no fried foods, no processed meats, no nitrates and nitrites because they actually use wheat as filler and things like pastrami and pepperoni and uh, sausage and, and so on. So you got to give up uh, those kind of processed meats. Uh, again, no oils, no margins, salad dressings, cooking oils, if you eat canned fish, it's fine, but you got to be packed in water, not oil. The supplement program, you need two Alex packs per month, two Alex packs per month. You're going to take uh, one ounce of the Osfex Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Ontan Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of those EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner. And if you get off of gluten and do that, two Alex packs a month, you'll get rid of your asthma in, in two to four weeks. What, what, how is it causing the asthma? Okay. Um, asthma is caused by a deficiency of omega-3 essential fatty acids. They're required by the lungs as a raw material to make a hormone called prostaglandins. The purpose of the prostaglandins is to keep the bronchi open. You don't hit prostaglandins, your bronchi close, you get asthma. And so um, this is, it works every time. I mean, I, I have dealt with kids of some very famous people, uh, political people, I mean, uh, theologians who are very TV evangelists and things. Uh, their kids are uh, like they're 11 years old. They haven't had um, uh, any success at treating them with medical approach. In two weeks' time, they're cured. I can use a cure word because it's cured. Okay, nobody can find it. It's gone because there's a hormone that requires this omega-3 as a raw material for your lungs to make this hormone. Keeps it open. And usually, I'd say 99% of the time when you have asthma is because you have gluten intolerance and you cannot... And the 1% is you're working in a toxic plant or something. Exactly. All right, folks, we're out of time. Dr. Wallach, sorry to the other callers. Amazing interview. Thank you, Alex. You're a great host. Love you. No, it's great having you. Thank you so much. InfoWarsHealth.com, InfoWarsTeam.com. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.